The B-1 Lancer is a supersonic bomber built in the 1970s. Commonly known as Bone for B-1, this uniquely designed aircraft marked its historical 10,000 combat sortie or mission this past Sunday on February 26, 2012. Captain Mark Kimball, aircraft commander, explains the difference between a sortie and a combat sortie. We'll fly a sortie at home for training and you'll go against you know, simulated threats with simulated targets and you're just out practicing. A combat sortie, you know, now we're taking all that training and uh, we're actually applying it. A remarkable achievement for an aircraft not originally built for these continuous missions. Pretty amazing that an airplane that was designed for low-level uh, strategic attack, you know, in a nuclear role back in the 70s and 80s when it was first designed, has uh, really evolved into a, a pretty good combat uh, platform, especially in the close air support fight like we see in Afghanistan now. This 10,000th combat mission also has a personal meaning to its crew members. This is my first uh, deployment with the, the B-1. I'm actually the youngest um, aviator, a part of the team, so I'm very honored. My father flew a bomber for 23 years, and I'm excited to carry on our family tradition and legacy in flying the B-1. I got to watch the very first combat sortie launch on that date on uh, December 16th, 1998, and uh, pretty surreal watching two B-1s take off at, at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning to go do strikes. So there's other three people you spend, you know, somewhere over like 300 hours cramped in an area the size of a uh, minivan or something. So it's like a, uh, you know, it's a big road trip with like three of your closest friends. On the line from airmen to production superintendents or pro supers, 10,000 combat missions means 10,000 maintenance successes. It's amazing that we've been here this long uh, to support uh, friendly forces on ground, um, and it's, it's just a, a good thing to be a part of. You know, I was, a, I was a crew chief on B-1s for about 14 years. You know, I know what they're going through. Um, it's a tough aircraft to work. It's challenging. Um, some days you just want to you know, just go home and cry after the day you have, but you know, when you see the aircraft, I think you mentioned it, when you see the aircraft take off, it's what it's all about. And you know, these guys, I know they feel the same way. The B-1 will continue to be the backbone of America's long-range bomber force, and 10,000 combat sorties is only the beginning. I'm Technical Sergeant Lisa Carlson, Southwest Asia.